the disc cover has 13 millimeter bolts. I went ahead and left one on the top so I could drain it. And then I'm gonna need to remove the drive shaft. The little um, bands that hold the U-joints on there, those bolts are eight millimeter. Get these little tiny wrench. And you're gonna go ahead and pull the pin out of the carrier that holds the, uh, the, uh, the axles in place and it uses a little bolt. And then the pin will just slide right out. Off your drums, and what you're going to end up doing after you get your drums off, you're going to push the axles inward, and uh, what that will do, they'll take the tension off the C clips that are in there. And you can just fish those out with a magnet. And then the axle will just pull it right out. Adjusters on. Those are just 10 millimeters, just two of them. Go ahead and you can go mark and, my uh, caps. You can go ahead and mark the bearing caps. I'm gonna mark oh, the caps themselves that. and the uh, and the axle. So when I put them back together, you don't want to mix these up. And then I'm just gonna remove the caps now and just you know. Be careful because the adjusters like to just jump out as soon as you pull those bolts out. Go ahead, this is a good time to go ahead and start spraying some spray clean in there. Trying to get it nice and clean. And uh, Very handy this plate. tool right here is uh, you're going to need something like this, or you could use a pipe wrench, but this will make your life a lot easier if you get this tool. Because it basically just holds the yoke in place, and you can use a socket on the nut that's, uh, that's down in there. It has, uh, you know, every bolt pattern you're going to need for all the different yokes. And you can use it up on the, the front of a Dana 30 if you want to, or a Dana 44. Go ahead and pull off that yoke nut. And you're going to want to drive the pinion out. If you go ahead and, I ha I'm using an air hammer, and if you can kind of hit the yoke hit the pinion with the uh, the air hammer the yoke kind of bust free pull it off if you want it then i'm going to go ahead and you know i'm going to hit it a couple more times i'm going to hit the pinion a couple more times with the uh, the air hammer and uh it's going to move the pinion out and it's going to want to jump out of there so go ahead and stick your hand back there and get ready for it you can use a hammer you just gotta be kind of careful not to just beat everything up when you use a hammer. There's a crush lead right there on the old pinion. And then you can go ahead and remove the, the pinion seal. 
I'm just using a pry bar just to pry it right out. And you have one of the pinion bearings still left in there. You're going to want to pull that out too. Here's a little tip that uh, go ahead and cover the floor with uh, cardboard. You know, before you start, because you're gonna get uh, gear oil everywhere. And, uh, if you're doing it on the ground like me, you're gonna be slipping and sliding everywhere, so let's uh, have some cardboard ready. And right here, I have a brass uh, brass punch, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start knocking out the, uh, the races. So, the opinion race, there's two of them. 